So we've had a bit of a disaster. I stalled it coming up the hill, dropped it on its side. Amazing, the place where we are staying at the moment. Uh, Mikael is the owner and he has 40 tortoises, 40. And he just told us that they are really small ones. <laughs> One is just here under the log. He's sleeping. Yeah, it's really cute. And actually there is an egg. egg, tortoise egg. There's an egg. Oh, there's a big one as well. Oh, where's still a free, free space? Uh, a nice G. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to give you a sticker. <laughs> yeah, this place here we stayed at is really cool. It looks like a really old building. So many of these rocking chairs. Like we were riding around yesterday and every time when we looked into a house from somebody a person was sitting in a rocking chair. I mean, look, Mikhail here has like one, two, three, four, five, six, six rocking chairs. And look, these are his small ones actually. <laughs> I love them. Alright. Yep. Past all the antique furniture. It's an antique furniture obstacle course. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Miguel. See you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Oh, maybe I have to put the sign out of the way. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can get past it. Hold on. Wait a second. Oh, yeah, I'm getting pushed up against the car, hey? Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just about? Yeah, yeah just about, okay. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Okay. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 362 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We are here in the town of Masaya in Nicaragua. And we've been staying in the old town. We had a day off yesterday, which was beautiful. We visited the Masaya volcano. Whoa. Wow, look at that! <gasps> it's actually like the bubbling lava lake down below. Oh my god! Yeah, absolutely highlight of the trip. Yeah, that was such an incredible place. You could actually see straight down into the lava lake at the bottom of the crater and it was glowing red and it was just incredible. And this town here in general has a really nice vibe actually. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is like the main square and it's beautiful and historic and it just has a really really nice vibe although we tried to get some tacos from the street sellers and um, unfortunately they none of them were vegetarian sometimes I regret to be a vegetarian <laughs> <laughs> uh, whilst traveling the world you know it's so hard to get like nice vegetarian dishes <laughs> look at this building here on the right oh wow look at that Yeah, that's definitely a Spanish colonial building, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, beautiful old streets here. And I, I like the way that they're all like painted in different colors. It just gives the town a really nice vibe. And then you've got the, all these little squares everywhere and so many churches as well. Look at this. So many churches. Yeah, yeah. Masaya is a really, really beautiful little town. So we haven't yet got a map of Nicaragua to show you the route for today. But I can tell you that we are heading north from Masaya up to a town called Matagalpa. Look, there's a guy with a chicken. Oh my lord. And Matagalpa is basically the center of the coffee region of Nicaragua. So we are heading to Matagalpa to go and visit a coffee farm. Hey, your dream, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said that when we're heading through Central America, I really, really, really wanted to do a coffee farm tour, do a coffee tasting and experience firsthand that which we love so much. <laughs> And this region, Matagalpa, is basically full of what they call fincas, which is basically coffee estates, coffee farms. So it's basically the perfect place to get a nice brew. So it's about two and a half hours to Matagalpa and it's already 20 past eight. So better hit the road, let's go.
There's guys in the back of the truck are taking a picture of us. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Subscribe YouTube. <laughs> Just trying to get some more subscribers on the road. <laughs> yes. So we're starting to head up into the mountains now. We've done about half the distance up to Matagalfi already. And our host Miguel actually told us that it was a, a bit cooler up in Matagalpe. Uh, I think it's 600 meters above sea level. So hopefully it should be a couple of degrees cooler there because here is like still hot. <laughs> still too hot, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we are heading up into the mountains of Nicaragua. Just stopping in the town of Sebaco because we saw like a massive fruit market. Hola, buenas. So we can pick up our daily fruit supply. Just gotta find a nice and soft, juicy mango. Ha! Ah. Okay. Tiene piña? Ah, yes. Ooh, there's a dos, dos tipo. Ooh, can I see? Okay. El, el nom? Hawaiiana. Oh, dulce. Okay, and otra? Oh, okay. This one, this one. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, you can. Yeah, go on. Hiya! <laughs> Muchas gracias. Thank you. Cool. Where have I left Lavi? <laughs> so cool they've got these little moto taxis where the motorbike is actually behind the passengers so the passengers basically sit at the front so if that crashes into anything it's the passengers that will go first it's a good tactic from the rider isn't it i think lavi would like to go around in something like that me on the back lavi just chilling hola buenas Okay, one pineapple and then two mangoes. Yes. I don't know, we'll see. Quite big. Oh, they feel nice. Feel nice. I tried to choose ones that were a little bit softer. Good. So the total was 90, so that's probably like $2 something. Okay. All right, so we're only 30 minutes from Matagalpa now. So we just got one last little bit to ride and we should be able to find ourselves a nice coffee plantation. So many of these moto taxis around. Going around the world in one of those would be awesome and I just sitting in the front of it, you know? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. I said you would love it. Yes. You could like lie down on the bench in the front. Amazing. <laughs> here we go, coming into Matagalpa and it says here population 420,381 people, altitude 620 meters above sea level and the temperature is a cool 29 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually not that cool. Yeah, but it takes the edge off, doesn't it? Yeah. We've stopped here because here is the, the National Museum of Coffee. <laughs> so if we're going to find some info about where to go and see a coffee farm, then this is the right place to go. Let's check it out. Hola, buenas. Hola. Buenas dias. So we're in the coffee museum with Yanet, and Yanet's just showing us this like uh, super old vintage coffee grinder. <laughs> Ah, to see the weight of the coffee. Yes. Ah, different types of coffee, the variety. Catual, Catual Amarillo, Todo uh, Local Tipo. Local Tipo. Look at this old school grinder, that's cool. Homemade pulper. Wow. Muchas gracias, thank you, ciao. Gracias, ciao, ciao. So the place that Janet actually recommended was actually the same place that our host talked about called Selva Negra. It's about 20 minutes away from here, seven miles. So yeah, let's head up to Selva Negra. Let's go taste some coffee. So I almost forgot to record our first fuel up in Nicaragua. Okay, perfect. So the price is 49 a litre and it's 36 to the dollar. So, so I actually think it is quite expensive. Muchas gracias, thank you. It's still better than European prices, still better than England, yep. Muchas gracias. Aha, uh -huh. Selva Negra, Schwarzwald. Ah, Schwarzwald, yeah. That's in Germany. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Cool. And we can already actually see that left and right of us is coffee plants. All of these bushes underneath the canopy of trees are all coffee plants. I'm excited. I'm excited to taste it. So we've had a bit of a disaster. We were just coming up to the front of Selva Negra and I stalled it coming up the hill, dropped it on its side and uh, bent the foot pedal. It was a bit like this. So I thought, okay, I'll just bend it back a bit and then it broke off. So now we've got a broken foot pedal. And it's funny because it's exactly the same thing happened to the previous foot pedal that we replaced in Spain. It cracked exactly in the same place after dropping it, but that one hung on actually like, like this for a while. But this one I thought, oh yeah, I'll just sort of straighten it up a bit because it was a bit like this. And that was apparently the worst idea ever. It just went like that. So that's not so great, hey? So it looks like we're going to have to find ourselves some sort of Suzuki parts store that can help us out with this. And for now, I'm going to have to sort of ride it sort of with my foot here on the clutch and sort of do it like that. Bugger. So we're just sitting down for a coffee at the cafe at the farm. It's like full of people. They have Wi-Fi here, so we're gonna do a bit of a search online and see what we can find. So apparently there's a Suzuki Motos in the capital of Honduras, which is Tegucigalpa. We will contact now the Suzuki shops, like all we can find, and see if we can organize this part. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So we got a whole pot of coffee and a whole pot of milk. <laughs> and this is coffee grown and produced right here so i guess whilst we figure out this situation we're in we at least can have a nice coffee let's try it without milk first oh well, yeah that's probably a good idea hmm smells good how is it delicious mm. wow even without milk without anything that is absolutely that's a spectacular coffee five minutes later I was so angry and so depressed because of this foot pedal. So we decided to chill out here a little bit and order something to eat. <laughs> so this is fried plantain with cheese on top and there's like a bean dip in the middle. And then we've got some nachos, we've got some salad. Amazing, what a feast. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Orlando. Beautiful. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, that cheered me up. <laughs>